Well, today we're talking about problems that can arise if you don't take proper care of your feet. One of those painful issues is plantar fasciitis. Here to tell us what that is and what causes it is Tara Lee from Good Feet. Hey, Tara, Casey. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Good to have you back. And Thank of you. course, we're talking about plantar fasciitis. And you said this is the number one problem you see when folks come in your store. It is. Mm -hmm. And it can be de debilitating for a lot of customers okay. that come in. So tell us what exactly it is. Well, plantar is the bottom of the foot. Okay. Fasciitis is the inflammation of the ligament here. Now, the fascia inserts at the heel bone and runs all the way to the toes here, from the ball to the toes. Mm -hmm. It can get stretched out, it can get inflamed. It kind of acts as a bow, mm -hmm. where, so if it continues to get stretching, tearing, it can rip the little fibers in the ligament here. Wow. So you said it can feel like a stabbing of a knife even? In that the heel, right yes, there. and all the way through the foot in some cases. So what causes it? Well, if you wear flip-flops, you're grabbing with your toes that can pull on the fascia. Mm -hmm. um, anybody that does a lot of occup or stands on their feet for their occupation, where they have, um, whether it's nurses, teachers, factory workers, mm -hmm. not wearing the proper shoe, um, sudden increase in physical activity, that can cause plantar fasciitis as well. Obesity, where you're flattening out the foot, it stretches on that tendon, mm, okay. and that's not a good thing for customers. So really anything that causes that overstretching. Yes, the stretching, pulling, and tearing. Right. Yes. So of course pain, but what are some of the other symptoms of plantar fasciitis? When you wake up in the morning, put your heels down. It's like you're grabbing everything to get mm -hmm. going. Um, that can be very debilitating for customers. Once you get going, a lot of times that pain will subside in the feet. There are times when for customers it'll go through the day all day long and have that stabbing pain mm. in the heel. Okay, but Good Feet, your store mm -hmm. actually has something that helps people who are dealing yes. with plantar fasciitis. Mm -hmm. What do you have? What helps them? The arch supports here. Mm -hmm. Unlike other supports, our supports are going to support all four of the arches. We're supporting the inner outer longitudinal arch of the foot. This is going to stabilize the foot so it's going to kind of keep the motion or minimize the motion. Okay. The tra or the metatarsal rise here is going to take the pressure off the toes and the ball of the foot. It's going to let the toes lie in their natural relaxed position so that's mm -hmm. going to stop the stretching on the fascia. The transverse arch here will take the pressure off the heel. Okay. So a culmination of the support, all four of the arches being supported, we're going to, it's going to feel like a golf ball under the middle of the ligament here which is going to relieve it mm -hmm. and stop the tearing, the stretching, and the pulling. Unlike in, uh, shots of cortisone, ibuprofen, and other over-the-counter inserts. Right. Okay. So this is probably the most intense arch you have. It is. And it's the exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you have some other ones that are a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about those. Well, these, they're a little bit different and they're all going to hit different areas of the feet to allow mm -hmm. the foot to rest and relax. With these here, the exercisers, it's going to reshape the foot. So you're getting a workout by wearing the support. This is going to hit you a little further back towards the heel, more to the inside arch. Mm -hmm. And then the relax or will allow the feet to rest and relax. And by, be, by doing all three of these supports, you can put them in just about any shoe that you wear. So if you do wear flip-flops, it's going to stop the plantar so fasciitis even, as well. You can put them in flip-flops, mm -hmm. so any sure. shoe. Yes, just about it. any shoe that you wear. Now, who's the most common person to get plantar fasciitis? Mostly women or anybody between 40 to 60 years of age. 40 to 60, okay. Mm -hmm. And of course, they can come in and get a fitting sure. and see if they need help. Thank sure. you so much, Thank Tara, you. as always. A hey, Good Feet has two convenient locations, one in Nashville, that's at 27 Whitebridge Road. Give them a call at 615-353-7200. You can also look for them in Murfreesboro, that's at 833 North Thompson Lane. The number there is 615-217-7100. You can also find more info on their website. That's goodfeetnashville.com.